Reef Doctor uses internationally recognised protocols to assess and monitor the present and evolving state of the health of the coral reef and its associated ecosystems, sharing this information worldwide. indications from this research state that the lagoonal reef system has less than 6% coral left and is thus in a state of collapse, changing from a coral dominated reef to an algal dominated reef. If this continues to happen it will have huge implications, even so far as to destroy the community's ability to catch enough food to ward off starvation. But there is still time. Reef Doctor has created the two other modules to address this problem to slow down and ultimately reverse this change. Understanding where they fish, what they catch and how they catch it. Establishing the relationship between the reef's health, the effort required to fish and the resulting yield. The information is used to create community-based management plans to help reduce the impact on certain fisheries and to help expand others in the short term, whilst reef areas are given time to regenerate. From the fish catch monitoring information, Reef Doctor informed and educated the local population about the need to monitor their own activities. By fostering inter-community cooperation, they could manage the bay's resources, protecting and conserving the remaining living reefs. Reef Doctor has been the first to successfully set up and train an association of fishermen called Fimi Hara, bringing all 11 villages of the bay 30,000 people under one concerned banner. A banner which now has a regional and national voice to implement and enforce management and conservation actions. These roles empower members of the community to monitor their reefs and resources. And then, by acting as educators to the rest of the community, implement their own management solutions with Reef Doctor's guidance. Presently, Reef Doctor can only afford two officers for five villages, but with more funding, they can extend this to cover the remaining six villages of the region. This Alternative Incomes and Practices programme demonstrates the additional value of the reefs to local communities. They are beginning to realise it is not only their source of food. In 2007, Reef Doctor and Femihara created the first community-led marine park, the Rose Garden, created for tourists where fishing is banned. It generates $3,000 in each tourism season through a fee-based entry system, thereby paying for its own maintenance and also contributing to community projects and Fimihara activities. Most importantly, these marine parks allow fish and their juveniles to grow, increasing the fish stocks for the whole lagoon. Two more villages have now signed up to create their own marine parks. Reef Doctor has also created a local fishing boat alliance known as the Pirogés Association to help fishermen generate additional income escorting tourists to the reef and taking fishing pressure off it. Alternative habitats are designed to enhance fish biodiversity and biomass through the creation of new fishing grounds, leaving time for the natural reefs to regenerate. Reef Doctor has experimented with two types of low-cost, replicable habitats. First, the proprietary Indigenous Artificial Reef Component System, the IARC system. This creates an artificial reef using dead coral skeletons, which replicate the complex habitat needed for corals, fish and invertebrates. Secondly, the Fish Aggregation Devices, or FADs, a simple habitat which attracts fish from the larger reef area into a smaller zone, allowing for easier fishing using less destructive techniques. 
This helps to draw the fishermen away from the central lagoon area, relieving pressure on the heavily degraded lagoonal reefs. Both have proved highly successful, and with increased funding, this program can be put into wider effect, helping so many families as well as the environment. Alternative techniques are also required to replace destructive and low yield fishing methods, whilst teaching the need for and use of more efficient, sustainable practices. In late 2008, the use of beach seine fishing, the process of fishing with a net from the beach, was banned in three villages. It was destroying the juvenile fish populations which inhabit the seagrasses close to shore. Banning was achieved by providing families with alternative nets with a larger mesh size and also fishing lines, gaining bigger, more economically important fish for less effort and allowed the family's kids to go to school. With further funding, these replacements can be done in all villages in the bay, allowing for the juvenile fish to grow unaffected and to naturally regenerate the reefs. In no-take zones, particular reef areas and specific marine species can be targeted. These zones prohibit the fishing of targeted species for short periods of time, up to six months, under the management and enforcement of the locals. In the case of the octopus, an important export, their population and size can be increased threefold through this simple practice and as an example of species-specific management. So far, five villages are establishing octopus no-take zones.